Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Rides. On the day I am filming this, it is late June and therefore time for me to do my annual mid-year book freakout tag. I do this tag every year and I blank on who created it every time so I'll leave a link to them and the full list of questions in the description. Let's begin. Question 1. Best book you've read so far in 2022? This is a bold choice based off the conflicting reviews of the book and how my own review contradicts itself constantly. But Gallant by The Shop. It's a book that I rated 5 stars because it feels like it was written for me and hits so many of my niche interests that I had no choice but to adore it, even though I know it, it doesn't truly deserve the full 5 stars. It's probably more like a 3.5. Question 2. Best sequel you've read so far in 2022? Uh, the Kings of Nowhere by C.G. Drews. It's currently a Patreon exclusive sequel to her 2019 book, The Boy Who Steals Houses, a book that stole my heart when I first read it, and the sequel did the same. The sequel is dual narrated by Sam's brother Avery and Jeremy, one of the Delaney siblings. It has autism representation and angst and the slowest of slow burn relationships, and I can't wait to one day own a physical copy to hold against my heart. Question 3. New release you haven't read yet but want to. The only book I can think of is The Atlas Six by Olive Blake because it's one of the two books that I pre-ordered this year that has arrived but I haven't read. I think the hype scared me off for a while but I'm feeling the urge to pick it up again soon. I am also in awe of her career as a self-published author myself and I can only hope that I find an ounce of her success in the future. Question 4. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year? Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong. I'm going to be honest, I own two of her books down there and I haven't actually read either of them yet, but they're books I know I'll love. I'm also just a huge fan of her as a person based on her social media presence, so I'm anticipating anything she does. Question 5. Biggest disappointment? Every Word You Never Said by Jordan Green. I was lured in with the promise of a soft gay contemporary with boys in skirts and a non-verbal main character. What I ended up reading was slurs on every other page and ableism and thinly veiled racist comments. A disappointment to say the least. Question 6. Biggest Surprise Rules for Vanishing by Kate Alice Marshall. I was looking on the library book app like for a book with a blue cover that was available right then and this one and the description caught my eye. It was a book that could have gone either way for me and the Goodreads reviews were incredibly mixed, but I ended up adoring this book. I hope the library picks up more of this author's books because I think I'll become obsessed with everything they write. Question seven, favorite new author, debut or new to you? Frances Hardinge. I've had two of her books on my shelves for a while, The Lie Tree and A Face Like Glass but I simply haven't got around to reading. But another one of hers caught my eye when I saw it while browsing the library books app. It's called Deep Light and it's a love letter to the ocean and monstrous sea gods and a heartfelt lie little thief boy who only has one brain cell but is my new favourite character. Question 8. Book that made you cry? I don't think any book has moved me to fully sobbing this year, but the one that brought a tear to my eye was Radio Science by Alice Oseman. Every single thing that Alice writes is a personal attack to my mental well-being, and this one was no different. There's something about her books about university that hurt a little more than the rest, especially as the uni experiences she writes about mirror my own. Question 9. Book that made you happy? Every single book I've mentioned so far, except for the disappointment, made me happy. I'm easily entertained and love hoarding my little piles of paper. If we're being selfish for a moment, I think the book that makes me the most happy is my own book that came out in June, Paper Forests. This book is my soul in paper form and I can't wait for someone to fall in love with it. I don't even own a final copy yet. Question 10. The most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received? This is cheating because I don't actually own a physical copy yet, but it would be The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axio. I read an advanced copy back in January and I'm devastated that I didn't have a physical copy of the book to gush over because the cover is gorgeous. Question 11. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? These Violent Delights and Our Violent Ends for my introduction into the Chloe Gong cinematic universe and the Atlas 6 so I can decide if I want to pre-order the sequel. 
and assorted books from my TBR pile that catch my attention at the time. So that's all the questions for today. I will leave the full list of questions and a link to the creator to the other tag if I can find them in the description below. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.